Hi guys, for today's cocktail movie recap, we are featuring Nightmare on Elm Street 3, Dream Warriors. So one of my favorite characters in the entire Nightmare on Elm Street saga was Kincaid. He was just so badass and tough and came in and annihilated things. And there's this one moment in the film where he's reunited with everybody and he gives this girl a kiss on the cheek and it's one of the most awkward moments, but I thought it was a great little inspiration for today's cocktail, Kincaid's Kiss. So it's gonna be something that's fun, it's simple, it's familiar, but with its own little unique twist. We're gonna start off with two ounces of Elix vodka. Then we're gonna go into a basic sour recipe. So we're gonna use three quarters lemon, three quarters simple, and a whole egg white. Uh, and then to make it our own flair and to give it a little bit of color to, to bring it back to that Nightmare on Elm Street feel, we're gonna use an ounce of raspberry gum syrup. So it's gonna make it a whole familiar thing, but in a new different way, just for you guys. I am gonna start with my egg whites because it's really easy to mess those up. And if you ever get any eggshells in there, it can be really a pain to kind of sift it out and clean it through. So I like to put as little risk to the rest of the recipe as possible. Okay, cool, perfect. So we just sift that through. And now I'm gonna add three quarters of lemon, fresh lemon juice, always. Balancing the speck out, we're gonna have three quarters of simple syrup. one ounce of raspberry gum syrup. And it's definitely gonna bring a darker hue to it. And a whole new flavor of things. So, and then lastly, I always put the alcohol last because I don't like to mess anything up, especially when it comes to the spirit. So the spirit is the last thing that I always put in, just to make sure we're not risking anything that's of value. So, so anytime we're using egg whites, we, want to help the eggs emulsify a little bit. So we're gonna do a dry shake. And that's basically in the same premise that you would do like for making a ceviche. It's actually gonna citrus a activate um, and start cooking the egg. So it, it's not gonna have a whole lot of flavor, but it does provide a, a rich body and a full texture. I'm just shaking that up until it gets nice and light. Okay, and then I think we're good. We're gonna add the ice. Give it a nice full shake. Okay, now any time we use an egg whites, there's a, always a possibility that some eggshell can get into the glass. So whenever you're working with egg whites, I always recommend double straining it. So I got a fine mesh strainer and I've got my Hawthorne strainer and we're just gonna go right in the glass with that. Beautiful. An egg doesn't necessarily have much of a flavor, but it does provide a different sort of aroma. And it's not necessarily bad, but it definitely does can smell like egg. So just to change that up a little bit and make it a lot more uh, pleasant smell, I'm just gonna express a little bit of lemon peel over that. Perfume the glass. And we've got a garnish to go along with it. So there you go, guys. Enjoy Kincaid's Kiss.